What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be discussing what is micro LED technology and how can you use it in your own home? Today, we are out here at the Just Video Walls headquarters in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I cannot be more excited to be showing off all of the awesome ways that you can install these video wall systems in various aspect ratios, different pixel pitches, and really just taking a deep dive into use cases, different ways that you can utilize this technology to enhance your lifestyle. I'm gonna be bringing on our national sales director, Kellen Fleener, as well as Skylar from Just Video Walls. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, thanks, Zach. Um, here with Skylar again with Just Video Walls. He's gonna really walk us through what are the differences and what are the advantages of micro LED as opposed to some of the other display technologies such as LCD sure. or OLED, or uh, I'll just kind of let you dig into that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, most of us are familiar with like the traditional TVs. You have kind of like a backlit panel and then that kind of projects through an LCD display system. And uh, OLED's a little different, right? Because those are, those pixels are, are light, self they're yeah. self-emitting and they can turn completely off, right? So it's an awesome technology because it gives you those really great blacks that you, you know, you're always striving for in display technology, right? Projection's similar. Most of them use like a type of LCD or, you know, DLP type system. Micro LED is, I think it's most like OLED, if I if I can say that, because the LEDs themselves, it's essentially an array of cabinets with modules placed in these cabinets, and these these modules have a bunch of tiny little LEDs in them. So we call them micro LEDs, and these LEDs uh, either can display red, green, or blue, and turn off completely. And so they mix those together to produce the image that you see behind. Right the same thing that traditional TV is doing, but it's taking kind of like a different approach in that it's using LEDs that are direct lit. Sometimes you hear it called like DV LED, direct view or direct lit LED. And that's why the images look so great is because there's really nothing in between the, the eye and the LEDs that's filtering it or affecting the image in any way. You're just getting that raw, like unbound color and like perfect casting of that light into the room. So that's the best way I can describe it. It's most like OLED. And the difference is though that because there's no film on it, like there's no glare. So you have a very matte surface, which is just incredible. Like when you look at it, like the blacks are about as black as you can get. And that's regardless of whatever lighting conditions you have in the room. I love traditional TV, I love OLED. Like it's an amazing experience, but if you just imagine taking a mirror, right, a mirror surface and making it gigantic like that, yeah, what do you have? You just have mirror. an even worse problem. And, and there's a problem right now with glare because like if you have a living room, like in my living room at home, you know, we have a 65 inch TV directly behind that is a bay of windows and we have to close the windows. We have to turn, you know, close the shades and do all that so we can view during the daytime. The holy grail in display technology is like having a technology that you can use regardless of what's going on around it. And that's where micro LED really fits in perfectly is it becomes this display. It's well suited for anything you can throw at it. Right. If it's a living room, like you said, outdoors, even a dark room, dedicated right? Media dedicated room. media rooms. Those are uh, all applicable with micro LED. So I know we've talked about uh, micro LED technologies. What are some other advantages, not on necessarily the display tech, but also like the installation, right. the warranty, you know, how it gets constructed onto the wall, the scalability, I'll let you kind of right. get into those things. With a TV, you're gonna buy it in a set size, right? So you yeah, might panel. have a, a panel, right? So you're limited by the maximum size you can go. Uh, and you're also limited to the various increments that are only available. And that's kind of a global thing, right? So right. it's either a 65 inch or 55 inch or 75, but that's what you're limited to. And you're limited right now to 16 by nine. And the reason for that is because TVs are marketed for a, as wide of an application as they can get. The difference between that and micro LED is huge. And I mean that literally, like it's huge. 
The micro LED panels are modular, so you build them like Lego. So you take one of these and you stack them on the wall to build whatever aspect ratio you want and whatever size you want. It's customized specifically for you. So this is why it's really important that people use somebody who knows how this stuff works to implement these technologies in their homes because it's not just as simple as buying a 65 inch TV. Right. And the result speaks for that. The way that the systems work is they, they're still a two piece system for the most part. We have a processor and then we have a, a cabinet with modules in it. And the processor alone needs a professional to be able to program it. It needs to be able to do the things that the user want to do, whether it's, you know, layers like we see behind us here uh, and being able to recall those whenever they want. Those are things that are different because the processor is now dedicated. Yeah. Whereas with a, you know, traditional television, like you're limited to whatever processor is in the hub of that board. And those boards are sometimes limiting by you know, amount of voltage that they can run through. So even if it says it's 3000 nits, the amount of actual nits that you get out of that display is not always gonna be 3000, especially if you have a lot of bright areas on the screen. This is different because the processing is totally separate and you've got all of that contained in a dedicated unit. This is a, a more built, customized for you type of system, whereas a TV is what it is. Yeah. And we don't refer to these as TVs. This is a canvas to whatever you wanna create. And uh, that's what really makes it fun. Yeah, no, I think that's really important to hit on is, you know, you can have it run like a TV, but, right. you know, as we were kind of alluding to, and I was talking, you know, just as soon as you see it, your mind starts to, oh yeah, I could have my fan duel to see my bets that I have on going right. on one screen and mm -hmm. have, you know, ESPN stats going on another with the main broadcast on the big screen or, you know, have the main broadcast of the Masters with Amen Corner and Hole 17 on the other two or featured groups. Like you said, it's a canvas. So the possibilities are going to be endless and it's scalable. So if you really like those two screens over there, I would imagine that as long as you had space and the power requirements, you could be like, you know what? I do want to go ahead and get those two over here too. Mm -hmm. And so you may start out with that or just the main 16 by nine in the middle, but you can easily scale um, to continue that customization. There is some of that that we do need to plan ahead for, um, and we can get into the technical details of that. But you're right, like the way that you look at this is, and, and it doesn't even have to be a, a streamed feed. You know, we have customers that, that bring in like a portrait wall with a mirror over it. And so this becomes like their calendar as they wake up in the morning. So they walk in their closet and they have a, you know, three foot by nine foot display with a mirror on it. And behind that mirror is a feed of their, their meetings for the day. Or they might have like some sort of type of workout video that they do on yeah, it. Yeah, it becomes part right? of your lifestyle. It uh, becomes part of your lifestyle. And it's like w when you first came in here, you immediately found that application. Like that came out in your head because you're like, oh, dude, like this is what I like to do, right? I like to do this. And so I can use it this way. So the display adapts to your needs. It's a different experience and a different way of thinking of display because it's, again, it's no longer a television. You're not relegated to just 16 by nine. You can do that and it'll look better than any other 16 by nine display out there, but you can also do whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got them on the seal. That's you, right. Yeah. You could, you could do some, you know, wicked artwork with them. As Absolutely. Well, um, if, if it wasn't for media consumption. So again, it's a canvas. It's a media landscape. It's not a TV. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on micro LED technology. We are on the forefront here at Dream Media, checking out all the latest and greatest. As you can see, from our past videos, we go to every single trade show around the country, constantly educating ourselves and making sure that we're aware of everything on the market, whether it's speakers, amps, or video, we wanna make sure we have the best solutions to offer to you guys. And Just Video Walls has absolutely been killing it. We're gonna be making a series of videos coming up with Just Video Walls, taking a deep dive into everything about video walls, just video walls. Whether it's the type of LED use, the enclosure, the processors, 
we're gonna educate you guys on everything. So stay tuned to the channel. If you're interested in us doing something like this, something that we've discussed in these videos for you, reach out today for a free video consultation. As you can see here behind me, this is a 32 by nine aspect ratio. We can even do just a 24 by nine, which is just these two TVs here to the left, left out. Or we can do a traditional TV aspect ratio, 16 by nine, or get real custom with it and really do any aspect ratio that you would like. And we handle everything for you guys. Like, what do you do with your audio in the space? What type of processors do you need to run all of this and scale it properly? Well. Don't fear, here at Dream Media, we have the solutions and we're nationwide. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. So reach out today for that free video consultation. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and be sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.